Hey everybody, this is Tracy with Color Me This. This is episode 202. I am going to spend a little time going through my mom's book, her small victories book. She does not color start to finish, but she does try to color pages that I have already done. And I wanted to first point out that her book is in a lot better shape than my book. I actually had mine in my laptop bag and had some items, I think my keys that are attached to my wallet, uh, rip, wrinkled up this top part of my book. I'm already glad that I have a second copy at home that is clean uh, because I kept forgetting to take pictures uh, of it uncolored, of a page uncolored where I might want to map out what my colors are going to be. Uh, I would maybe start a page that has multiple images you know, a lot of these have multiple images and I would forget and then it would be too late because I already started coloring. So uh, let's see what she's done. We've talked a little bit, her and I, about her coloring, her technique. She's a very casual coloring person, but she's always been artsy and always done artsy things. So her first two pages are uh, pretty simple. This was a set of pencils that she did the best she could with. They were the Stadler 48. Uh, and she immediately said, oh, that's it. I need to get a different set of pencils. What do you recommend? And I said, I, um, what she had been at my house and she had used six different inexpensive budget sets. And she had marked on her little cheat sheet, of what ones she liked the best that she really liked the Kalur 120s. So she had used mine, mine are black barrel. So she ended up with finding a really good deal um, with my help on a 120 set that came in a case for like $25.99 or $24.99. So this first couple of pages is with the Stadler, um, which on my previous episode, I used them on the bottom cupcake and I was very impressed. I forget how good they were. Uh, and I showed you guys that the cores are really big and that the pencils are soft. They are triangular shaped. Uh, so that's what she used here on these first two pages. And I noticed that she is opting for some yellow circles outside of the stars being colored. She actually didn't even color in all of the stars, like that little one and that little one are hardly colored. So I like that unique um, adding of a little bit of the yellow in random places. She did not do a traditional gray cloud. Uh, let's look at what I did on mine for the cloud. Yeah, see, I accented, oh, and here you can really see the keys. They really damaged the top, darn it. Um, you can see that I went the traditional gray route with some back shadowing outside the upper left side of my clouds and she went with the yellow, which is very unique and I like that. She definitely, I will tell you whenever she's done any of my crafting events that I've held or classes, uh, she always just does her own thing. So she asks lots of questions. Uh, she did a really nice job of making her different scales light to dark. Uh, and I love her blend, the blue to purple. This is the Stadler doing that nice blue to purple blend. However, I can tell you that the blue does not get any darker than the, the brightest blue you see here. There is not a navy blue. I think there's like a Prussian blue in that set. I like how she did the jar. She just did some yellow to tie in with all of the other yellow bits uh, on the butterfly, on the bees, the stars. And then she did a really simple coloring down here at the bottom. Did some blending on that. Her very first one, she did not do a lot of blending, but I do see some light to dark pink. But she was frustrated because, again, just like the blue, the Stadler pink does not go any darker than that vibrant pink. So she did spend a lot of time on this set and I think this set was the first time of her, her using her colors. Uh, I wish she would have put little initials by, uh, like I try to put the name of what I use because I don't remember. But I'm going to say that by this time she had seeing the darks in the centers of the flowers 
she's doing a lot better with her gradient from dark to light. She did a really nice job there. She opted not to color the introduction page. Then she went right into the moth, used lots and lots of colors. She did her blending down into the purples and the blues. She got a nice dark blue in to her darkest darks. She said it was really hard to remember the colors from either side, you know, to remember. And I remember struggling with that. I, I didn't want there to be a big gap in time between when I colored the one moth to then I went by myself and colored the other half. She then did do the fun six up page and look at how vibrant that green is that she used uh, with some, you know, like a chartreuse green. Did a nice blend there. Did a little bit of a background. This actually is a really pale yellow background. So is that one. That's actually a neon yellow. A lot of fun. Looks like she had fun with that. She then went and head and did the trucks. And I think here she is starting to, I see some white uh, for highlights. Not a ton, but keep that in mind. She did some streaky, you know, her own kind of shadow lines, especially on this one. You can see the darker and the lighter. I can even see that here she probably did some erasing on this portion to make it lighter. And I appreciate seeing, oh, here's some erasing to get some highlights here on the top of the truck. The upper elements where the sun would be showing on it. And then we have a lovely butterfly. She enjoyed coloring that. I see lots of blending. I can tell now that she is get, getting like into her groove on doing the shadows. And here I'm not seeing a ton of highlights, but we will see what the next page has in store for us. Now at some point here, I don't know sure when, she decided that the Color 120 set only had one orange and I'll tell you she is an orange girl she even loves orange tic tacs so I had to get her set up with the Brute Funer 180 and showed her what the palette looked like so she could count how many oranges were included to satisfy her need for orange and then the other color she really likes that none of her sets except the Stadler's has is a tan uh, a nice light tan that I think is this color here I'm going to reach over and see if I can find that tan for you to see it. Oh, that's gold. That is gold. Okay, did I hide it somewhere? I will have to cut this part out. Here we go. Here is her tan that she has not found in any other set. It is just a soft cinnamon sort of a color and like I said I think it is actually this the middle of these circles and notice here she is starting to add her highlights because I talked to her a little bit about highlights versus shadows and she even is doing her highlights up in the tiles of her house along the bottom and she is using her eraser I believe we talked about using the eraser she opted not to have light in the windows, but she did do light in the lantern. She did some uh, these bell flowers I love to do in the blues, light dark, and I love her color of the sweet light blues with the orange centers because she now has her brute funers that have the extra oranges that she likes. And she did not do the six houses. But she did, oh, and look at, she did not like those flowers, but she did do leaves. Some nice fun practice leaves here in various greens. She's still really loving the neon yellow green on the dinosaurs. I love how she colored her dinosaurs and I see a lot of work on the highlights as well as the darks. She could still, we talked today about you know, being able to go even darker like these back legs and underneath the belly could have gone darker. Uh, then this one is a brown and orange leaf with some green. Uh, she 
did just a really quick sketchy ground. I can't believe that she toughed it out and she didn't even know uh, about this being kelp. I don't even, I don't think when I finally told her that that was kelp with those, the balls that we, I used to explode as a kid. I grew up in Puget Sound uh, at Edmonds Beach and I think she did a fantastic job of putting this all together using her oranges that she loves, um, giving them a workout. She even put your orange in the center. She did great on the three fish. Love them. Again, the oranges, again, doing highlights. I think she's really got the, in the groove. Uh, somewhere in here, she does get really busy with prepping her house to sell. Uh, but I see she did these houses, again, working on her highlights. Um, you know, the sun is over on the left because here's these highlights on the, the left side of the house. This one, she did the middle of the house, middle of the house. We did a little bit of yellow in the windows now. And then again, highlights, highlights all around. Wonderful. She did do all these cute teeny tiny flowers. They all came out great. I am pretty sure that by now she absolutely had the Brute Funers for this. And I think this is all Brute Funers as well. I don't know that, like she hadn't used the Color much until today when I told her I needed to do the Brute Funer cupcake. So we swapped pencils and she used the Colors in the case. She actually prefers the tray system of the Brute Funers and the, it comes, I will go get it, it comes in a hard plastic snap lid case with a handle on top. So I'm going to see if I can show it to you. And she really likes that you can just pull out the trays. So it's this, this kind of a case that you can slide the clear trays. They're the kind, they're this more sturdy clear trays. I have them with my 520 student grade set that I have lined my, I have made shelves and put them in my office. Uh, so they're really sturdy, clear. And then they sit on her TV tray so she can access three of the six trays. I think there's six trays total. Maybe there's five. Nope, I think three, four, five. Six, yeah, six trays. So let's see, she did her islands, and I'm not sure what order she did all these in exactly. She loved the boats. Again, she's practicing her shadows and her highlights. Look how dark she did the shadow bits. She used her, I see some of the gel pen, her color gel pen. On, I don't see any of it here, but I do. Oh, yes, I do see some on these leaves. Uh, she did a fantastic job on this page. This left page, you know, there are certain pages that are so beautiful uh, that you just can't go wrong. And this is one of them. I think this is one of my favorite pages. Uh, and she colored it just completely different than how I colored it. Love the color choices that she made. And then she did a great job with these bugs as well. I'm seeing some highlights. I don't think she used any white gel pen on this page. Maybe a tiny bit. Oh, I see a tiny bit. We didn't work on this page, so she skipped those. Skipped this big busy one. This was very hard and time consuming for me, so I understand that. And I love how she colored the four images over here. I hope that's actually focused. Very cute coloring. I like her unique flower colors on that one, sort of teal and aqua, and I love the fantasy colors on the rabbit. She did the dessert page. She really enjoyed that. She again is doing some different work with her highlights, and she talked about using her eraser to make sure she got some highlights put in, and I love how dark she went on either side. I'm sure that that is the Brute Funer set. 
Here is the flowers I, she loved. She was working on this, actually finishing it up uh, when I first arrived, and she worked on her shadows and her highlights. Very nicely done. Uh, this was a page that we worked on, uh, she was working on with me, and so is this next page. So this page is being colored with the color, where this page she colored with the Brute Funer. So that's what she's been up to. Totally different than how I colored. Uh, this way she was actually lining areas to remind herself what to leave. And notice she's doing a little bit different. She's not following any rules. She's doing these lined bands just to be different and experiment with a different way of having highlights show. And then we talked a little bit about uh, shadow options that you can either go with like a dark gray dark brown or you can do I spend more time doing my shadows with the darkest of the color family that I can find and not using gray as much so that is all I've got I want to keep this short uh, any of these videos short because of how long it takes to load them and uh, we will do next if I get time I will be doing a cut another coloring I'm going to work more on more cupcakes and then I'm probably going to do some uh, page to page matchups to just show you two completely different styles of coloring with different experiences and pencils and we'll just line up some of the pages side by side and show you what they look like. So do all the YouTube things, like, share, comment, and consider subscribing. Be sure to do a little coloring every day and I will see you in the next one.